Hello, my name is Jerry Root and I'm a developer at Genway Computer Systems. We at Genway Computer Systems are creating a series of short but powerful videos in TIPCO Spot 5 version 7.6 to assist you in enhancing your data formatting skills and to ensure you get the most out of Spotfire. In this example, we will take a look at custom theme building and what the advantages are of themes in your analysis. We will look at why we would want to create a theme, review our data set, access the settings, and design a custom theme. Please note that custom themes can only be created in Analyst, but accessible in both Business Author and Analyst. Creating and setting up of custom themes are great when you want to create a uniform design and look for your company's analyses. Having a custom themed analysis also eliminates wasting time when exporting visualizations to PowerPoint presentations or as an image. Should your analysis be presented to an audience outside of the company, the theme style would help establish your brand better. For this example, we will use a dataset that has been collected from a sales analysis which compared projected sales to actual sales for dairy products by stores across 21 states. To access the theme properties and setup, we will have to gain access to the view menu mouse over visual theme and select edit custom theme. The edit custom theme panel opens and we have two options available, general and details. In the general tab we have basic options such as choosing whether we want to have the theme light or dark, what we want our base color to be, what the primary color will be and what font we want our theme to have and what the color of the font should be. Note that the changes are applied immediately allowing you to have an immediate view and feel for the theme that you are creating. If you are unhappy with the settings, you can always click the reset button to revert back to the default settings. In the details tab, we can select how we want to display our page navigations, visualizations, columns and annotations. Our first tab is the page navigation area. Here we can select our font, font size and color we can select which background color we want for our active page. The reset button is available on each tab and will also reset the changes pertaining to the active tab. Next we have the visualization area tab. This is the border of each visualization. We can select which color we want the background to be. We can select what distance we want between the visualizations and what the padding should be between visualizations and panels. With regards to padding, we can customize the size even further by selecting which section we would like to have padding top, right, bottom or left. The next tab is Visualization General. We can select a font, the font size and color. We can also select bold or italics for your visualization. We can change the background color for the visualization. We can change the padding size with the option to customize it we can select the color for the borders, which will give a second color to your border. We can also choose a color to indicate which visualization is active. We can select a corner radius for our visualization, which will soften the corners and make them more rounded. We can also customize this more by selecting individual sections we want to have more rounded. We can also select which color we would like the odd rows to be. Our next tab is visualization titles. Note that the font font size, font color, and bold or italic settings are carried over from the Visualization General tab. We can also select how we want our titles aligned. We can select the background color of our titles. We can create margins for our titles and customize them by size. We can individually select which side we want to add padding to. We can create a border around our titles, select the border width and color and we can change the corner radius. Our next tab is Visualization Scales. Font size and font color is brought through from the previous tab. In this tab, we can change the color of the lines and tick marks in our visualizations. The next tab is Column Selectors. Here we can select a font, font size, font color, and whether we want it bold or italics for the column selectors. Our last tab is Annotations. Here we can change the font, font size, font color, and select whether we want them bold or italics. We can change the background color of the annotation. 
We can change the padding and also customize this by selecting which side and size to pad. We can add a border, select the border size and color. Our custom theme is created and ready to use. When we create any visualization, it is created in the selected theme setup. If we click on view and mouse over to visual theme and select light, the custom theme will change to the default settings for the light theme. If we select custom, our analysis will change back to our custom set theme. When we open the analysis in Business Author, we can see that the analysis looks exactly the same as it does in Analyst. When we select the theme selector though, we are now able to change the themes between light, dark and custom, which is our theme. Please note that you are unable to change the name of the theme. As you can see, custom themes can really assist and improve our visualizations and unify our corporate brand and colors within our analysis. I hope you have found this demonstration interesting and helpful. Our contact information is on the screen should you wish to reach out to us for any further assistance in implementing this technique. Thank you.